All right, here we go. Giants lose. Was that 25, 23? I don't even know. Lost by two. Don't get the two point conversion. Refs pick up the flag. Refs pick up the flag. The refs pick up the flag. But you know what? I'm not going to blame the refs. Said this for like five fucking weeks in a row now. Not a guy who blames the refs for stuff like this. I've been riding the damn wagon since the night everyone cried that they didn't draft Dwayne Haskins. So I'm going to keep my guy Danny. He takes the first L for tonight. I've been defending him. We've all made our excuses for him. I want to see him get better. He has to wear this one. He just can't. You just can't have turnovers like that, Danny. You can't have turnovers like that. Ah! Not against Tommy. Not against Tom Brady. You can't do that. You just can't let his team stay in. He's going to make all the plays, get the drives at the end of the half, get every point he needs. He's going to eat them all up. Bruce Arians left the door open for us with that field goal. <sighs> but again, Danny has a couple throws there. You see him run when they actually fucking run it one play with him. And you're just like, that kid has it. And then he throws a fucking pick right to a guy or misses a guy deep, which again, Brian Greasy, who knows more about football or forgot more about football than I've ever known probably. He's telling me might be the receiver's fault. Hey, who am I to say? Who am I to say? Who are you to say? Are you a fuck? Are you an ex-NFL player? Are you a quarterback? Do you win a national championship in college? If you did, that's fine. I'm just an asshole running around his house in 29 degree weather right now. That's all I know. Defense came to play. Knew they would. Knew they would. Um, that touchdown on Bradbury, that was tough. Cameron Brake can just like lower his helmet and like aim for people's chest. That's a penalty on the Giants. That's how it rolls. Not going to complain at the ref, so not my style. Not me. Not my style. A little too classy for that. Those announcers cannot wait until I can just put a football game on in the background for the rest of the year Monday night. Go on my computer. Just kind of go in my own little world. Now here's Steve Levy. Just completely butcher every fucking thing. Guys talking about players who weren't even on the team. I missed a booger, man. I missed a booger mobile. I missed everything about the booger man at this point. And I fucking hated the booger man. This one hurts. Every fucking week hurts. Every week. One possession game. Fourth quarter. They tickle the balls. And then they rip your dick off. They shove it up your ass. 2020 Giants football, baby. One and seven. And you know the sickest thing of all? Gonna play an NFC East team again. And again. Got the Bengals. Joe Burrow coming up. We're gonna be in all those games. We might even win a couple. But until Daniel Jones just gets those fucking passes down, stops fucking making dumb mistakes. Or fuck, the best throw of the night. It wasn't even the Golden Tate touchdown, Deion Lewis touchdown, that were both fucking dimes. Ten cent pieces right in your fucking face. The Dwayne Haskins, Josh Rosen crowd on Twitter. Those are the fucking guys you guys wanted. Danny Dimes is my guy. You could have Haskins and fucking Rosen. But the best throw of the night was when he just threw the ball away on that last drive. It was the most beautiful throw I saw all fucking night by both sides. God damn it getting too fucking cold for this shit you guys can hear me i'm winded already i'm not going i'm think i'm getting in shape with all these laps this is fucking bulking season i got halloween candy in the house i got thanksgiving sandwiches being rolled out at the delis and then we got christmas fucking cookies coming this is only gonna get worse i'm huffing and puffing like it's late in the fourth quarter <sighs> Defense play well. Special teams. I just, listen, this is what I know about special teams. I like nice returns. Had a couple of those. I like when we do weird shit and it kind of works out for us. That kind of worked out too with uh, just not playing anyone deep. Coach Judge, you fucking do whatever you want there. You can only blame the receivers. And again, if Evan Ingram catches that last week, the narrative is different. If that fucking Dallas is a hold a couple weeks ago, that's different. But you know what? You win the games you win, you lose the games you lose. Winning teams find a way to win, losing teams 
find a way to lose and we're finding a shitload of ways. But you know what? I said it a couple weeks ago. It's not a rebuilding year. This is a building year. We're building everything. Coach judges standard. Just got to start fucking winning games because bricks are wins. You fucking have your little cement, get some water. It's a foundation, but the wins, that's the fucking secret sauce that builds the building. Does this make any fucking sense? No, but it's like 11 o'clock at night and I'm running in the pitch black talking to a fucking phone all like a dickhead. Line look good. This is the thing. We just need small wins this year. That's all I'm asking. Small wins to then propel us. I'm going to take the line looking good. Andrew Thomas murdering a guy. Shane Lemieux looking good. Pretty good. Fucking the Bucks are crazy off a defensive front seven. Held their own tonight. Danny looks pretty good when he has time. Coach Garrett, you gotta, you gotta just let those legs go. Those legs are too fucking fast. I know he's too fast for his own good sometimes, and he fucking falls on his face. You gotta let Danny cook. We're gonna say cook. You gotta let Danny fry. Let Danny fly. Let Danny fly. That's the call. We'll start that hashtag up. Daniel Jones Hike Group, shout out. Guys, follow Bar Barstool New York on Twitter. If you want to join the Daniel Jones Hype Group. If not, go join the uh, Dwayne Haskins Hype Group and the Josh Rosen Hype Group because those are the other options in my mind. If you're not a Daniel Jones guy, you're either a Dwayne Haskins guy or Josh Rosen. I'm going with Daniel Jones. Fuck, you could have Drew Locke too, for all I care. Have them all. I'm taking Danny over literally those three fucking morons. <sighs> Starts. Hurts a lot, but you know what? I think there's a system in place. I truly do. I'll be saying this after the 15th loss of the season, maybe. But you gotta believe. Just like you gotta believe Steve Cohen was gonna buy the Mets. You gotta believe in the process here. Trust the process. Trust Coach Judge's standard. If you can get down with that, I got two words for you. Suck it.